Oh, you messed up now, buddy. Oh, you can't even run. Oh, you totally messed up now. I like how everybody's just literally clapping that this man's being beaten to death now. Like, dude, just shake him down for whatever he's got on. You gotta kill him. So look, he's being dragged away now. <laughs> what is going on, everybody? Welcome to the very much anticipated Beholder 2. Welcome to the Ministry. I'm your host, the Birdman Notice Falcon. We're checking out an early look at the um, Beholder 2 beta build here at the moment. This is slated to come out later this year. If you guys remember, we actually checked out Beholder 1. Now, Beholder 2, by the looks of what I've seen thus far, it is a completely different looking game now. Like, the, the art style is still very similar, but the gameplay itself looked a lot different from what I remember from Beholder number 1. And more importantly, it kind of has more of a... A Papers, Please type of uh, gameplay to it, I want to say. So, I'm down with that because I love Papers, Please and, you know, Glory to Artoska and all that stuff. So, let's go into Beholder number two over here. I'm pretty sure I mispronounced Artoska too, didn't I? Yeah, probably. Let's go to play here. Transfer to the Ministry approved. Get to work as soon as you arrive in Helmler and Jay Cunningham. P.S. Your father is dead. More info when we meet. Oh, good. So, a really good way to start a letter here. Father's just dead. So as you can see right here, we're not in an apartment building where we rent out rooms to possible scumbags or not. And what's cool about this, apparently it's got like an entire 3D aspect to it now. Before it was just kind of like a 1 or like a 2D type of like, you know, scrolling back and forth from one area to the other one. Here we have like an entire world. Excuse me, my friend. I was making the introduction here, but okay. We have George Hemnitz. Hi. Guess you're the one I'm waiting for. My name is George Hemnitz. Nice to meet you, Evan. You must be a big shot, Evan, right? Why? I've been with the Ministry for 8 years, 4 months and 12 days. In that time, I processed 18,342 applications, had 1,629 cups of coffee, and witnessed 284 incidents of the civil disorder. Is there a reason why you have like a really good count of everything you've done? That's good God, those are very specific numbers, I would say. Now ask me, how many times I get sent to welcome a new employee on his first day? How many? Zero. Evan. Zilch. Not once in all these 3,502 days. So you've got to be a big deal, right? Uh, you're right, I'm a big shot at the ministry. No clue. Well, let's just play it up like we are. My last name's Redgrave. Ever heard of it? Redgrave? As in Redgrave Redgrave? Oh god, your father! Enough chit chat? No, no, go on. Tell me what you want me to say about my father. My deepest condolences. Can't imagine what you must be feeling right now. And to think I saw him just 58 hours and 23 minutes before he... Before his death. Uh, we weren't that close. To be honest, we haven't talked for a decade. I didn't even know he worked here until yesterday. He didn't just work here. Your father was one of the most respected people in the ministry. One of the top management. And the most amazing thing is, he never looked down on subordinates. He was an open and honest man. So what happened? Did police make any headway? We aren't told much, so I only have a fact or two. The rest is gossip and fantasies of daft employees. What are the facts? 47 hours and 23 minutes ago, your father fell out of the ministry's top floor window. He fell down 37 floors, hit the pavement, and died on the spot. Yeah, 37 floors would probably do that to a person. The law enforcement is working on finding out what happened, and why. At least that's what we're told. That's not much. Perhaps I have some important info about your father's death. But it's best to discuss it somewhere quiet, after I instruct you and show you your desk. Cause you know, priorities, ready for your first day at the ministry. Let's go. Alrighty. So I'm, I'm loving this already, like the entire look. It basically got fleshed out. What are you, what are you talking to me? Give you more information about the thing? Yeah, I'm gonna just go and continue walking. You guys can read this down here if you want to. I don't think there's anything too important going on. Wise leader. Yeah, you're telling me information about the world. But this is like awesome compared- If you compare this to Beholder 1, this is like already a lot more of a graphical improvement. So this is looking really awesome. Now, it's not completely 3D in case you're wondering. I can't move up or down. So, it's simulating 3D as in a world, but I can only move left or right. And it kind of guides me and curves on its own. Your father died here on the cold and different pavement. Oh. They still have his chocolate line and everything, huh? That's pretty disturbing. Now is the favorite spot for gossipers. You can eavesdrop even though you're not likely to hit anything nice or useful. 
However, you should get used to it. Just specifics no matter what position you're in, you've got to listen in. Notice everything and report to the higher-ups. Yeah, because, you know, glory to the minister, right? Alrighty, so here, dude. I'm fairly impressed with what they've done here. Uh, ministry safety is a separate reason to be proud. A security guard is your best friend here. Okay. <laughs> Going through uh, metal detectors. Oh, God. Oh, you messed up now, buddy. Oh, you can't even run. Oh, you totally messed up now. I like how everybody's just literally clapping that this man's being beaten to death now. Like, dude, just shake him down for whatever he's got on. You gotta kill him. <laughs> Glory to the ministry. Yeah, yeah, you got him. Oh, look, someone got caught. New technology guarding humanity. The newly developed optic fiber connects these frames with the main ministry register. Connection speed is over 10 gigabytes per second. Any prohibited item will be detected at once. Look, he's being dragged away now. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Dude, they've done a really good job with this so far. Like I said before, there's 37 floors and twice that much underground. Oh, we have underground too. At least according to the official data. Alright. We should always remember why we are here and thanks to what or who. That's where we hold general meetings, they're usually pretty mundane. People getting rewarded or reprimanded. Sometimes we also publicly condemn the actions of our neighbor states. Mm-hmm. Like Olechia? See those lines? Every single person standing there has come here with a problem. Where it's a real issue or not, it's up to us to decide. Our job is to send people to the right department. Oh, so this is what I've been doing? <laughs> Frozen tripped. This dude's a klutz, always drops stuff. Keep forgetting his name. Ah, oh, poor guy. Alright. Dude, we're getting scanned in here too. This kind of has a little bit of an inside vibe, doesn't it? Like what's going on in the background. It reminds me a bit of it. Actually, matter of fact, I guess the gameplay is almost reminiscent of Inside. It had the 3D look, but in reality, this is a 2D game. Tell me about my job. So, we're in the reception room. People who work in these booths assign visitors to ministries and offices. This is the front line of our bureaucratic defense. Only the chosen ones can pass it. Do you mean us? Do you think you've been chosen? People often consider themselves to be special, but in fact, we're all the same. Two square meters of skin, 206 bones, five liters of blood. Well, as long as you eat well and aren't an honorary blood donor. And eventually we all die, except for the wise leader, of course. But before you die, you need to work hard. You'll be dealing with visitors, listening to their appeals, figuring out which forms they need and which ministries and available offices they have to go to. You've got to press the right buttons in the terminal, print out the referrals, and give them to the visitors. Alright. So, forms, ministries, and offices. What kind of forms? Currently, we have four types of forms. Request, complaint, denunciation, and information. You select one depending on the appeal. If you're having difficulties determining the appeal type, use the hints in the terminal. Alright. There we go. Yeah, we have our... I'm telling you, this is like... Pay if the first one wasn't like Papers, Peace, Influence, this one right here is even more so now, it feels like, where we were like checking people in and stuff like that, huh? So, um... Oh, it's gonna cost me two hours of the day to do five forms. So everything, we have like, apparently, like, time throughout the day, and whatever we do affects that overall time, it does seem. So, I guess let's start this off. Yeah, say we dropped two hours, perfect. Visitor. Hello, I've brought samples of the new uniform for our military-orienting teams. We're expecting new attacks on the Western front line next week, so I think they'll have they'll appreciate the new uniforms. So that's definitely gotta be information. What ministry is to go through? Um Order? I don't think it's pay I think it's probably order, right? It seems like more military-ish oriented. And finally, we have to select the available office, and he's set to look at the right. Okay, so. Uh, I can't see what that one is here. 101. 101, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's Monday today, so... 101 works, right? 101, Monday? It's available? Sure, I'll do 101. Oh, we got the wrong one. So, it was in Ministry after... Wait, 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 what? No, I did order. It was just wrong. So, Ministry... Huh. Oh, well. Next one. Visitor. I want to provide list of our plants employees... I want to provide a list of our plant's employees with the statistics for the last month. Top workers are marked in red, lazy ones in gray. So you're providing information. 
It's got to be labor, right? So information, I would say, and labor. Uh, 154 Monday. Yeah, that's available. Okay, we got everything right on that one, and for this one, we got some money. So if you get everything right, you get some money. Okay. Wacko 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 I'm not really sure what the first one was then. I thought it was like order. I guess it, I guess patriotism maybe. Eh. Hello. I did what they asked of me. Sorry. I was recently summoned to the police. They asked me about my wife. I said everything I know. I swear I didn't ever think she. Please calm down. Sorry. So they told me to remember who this traitor could have communicated with before her arrest. Here's the information I collected. So, for a fact, you'll be information. So it's order. Okay. Okay. So that's information. That's good to know. So we'll do order this time. That should be it. And then, let's see. 212, is that available today? Yes. 212 it is. Bingo, bango. All right. So if we're a little bit, you know, not sure, this red button is very important. Hello. My fiancé and I were attacked during our afternoon walk a while ago. My love defended me, but was taken in by the police because of one of the attackers died. I'd like to know what will happen to him now. So that's definitely a request. And I imagine it's got to be order as well, right? It's got to do with like, you know, arrest and everything. So I'm going to say order. And it's 301 available today. Yes. Yeah. All right. We got it. We got it now. We got it. So good. Last one. Visitor, I want to press charges. Policemen beat up my husband on the street. They thought he was a criminal. Now he can't work. How am I supposed to take care of the kids now? I demand that those policemen be punished. Are you sure it was a mistake? Hell yes I am. Beat the guilty ones, not the innocent. So it sounds like you are... It's a complaint. Pressing charges, right? Visitor reports injustice, yeah, yeah. Interest of the rights, violate. Yeah, yeah. So that's definitely a complaint. And it's got to be order related, too. Um, 101's available again. We got 357 available. Let's do 357. Yeah. All right. So after the first rocky start, the other ones, we got them. And that's it for today, right? I could do a couple more if I want to, but um, Homeboy said to talk to him after the five, right? So we got that one. Yeah, report to Hamnets. Okay, that went fairly good. You just clipped through the entire chair there, by the way. Just an FYI. Buddy! I did fairly good after the first mess-up. You proud of me, George? What a good day. Um, so we can ask about reputation, about visitors, talk about work, talk about family. Let's give him the performance report. I've met Dakota. What's next? Great, keep it up. Actually, I have nothing more to tell you about your work. You're on your own now. Get settled in, meet your co-workers, and earn reputation. If you keep at it and work hard 8 hours a day, you could become the boss and get to work 12 hours a day. Isn't it exciting? Oh, keep that in mind. Thank you, George. I'll mark in the journal that you had your briefing. All that required documents are in the court near the table. Take them to Magda Rakovic, the boss's secretary. I'll await for you by the statue. We have more to talk about. Alright, so I guess we could do this later. Um, take the documents from the cart. How you doing there, buddy? Just hanging out? Hello! My name is Evan, I'm new here. Nicholas Page, the courier. Oh, I don't got a reputation point, so I can't do this right now. Okay. Well, he said to meet my co-worker, so I'm just kind of, you know, taking a little perusal about. Any reputation for you? Who's this fella here? Hey, buddy. This is Pete. <laughs> Peter Dong. You know, what's the name we could give this fellow to have two euphemisms for penis? Peter Dong. Give Magda Rakovic the documents. All right, you could, I'll do that, wherever she might be. Oh, hey, how you doing, baby? <laughs> I don't mind seeing you walk away. This is Marco Ligran. He's a very angry dude. Look at those eyebrows. Beat it. I have no time to waste on you. All right, buddy. Relax there, Slim. Very tall guy. Oh. Oh, man. That's your honey right there? Why are you mad then, dude? You ain't got nothing to be mad about right now. As a matter of fact, you, my friend, are a victor in life. So, I guess this is where we're supposed to be going? I'm sorry, I got really distracted by apparently pixelated boobs. And the booty as well. Can't ignore the booty. What the hell is that? I can't interact with that. So this gotta be Magda... Magda Rakovic. 
Now what? Get acquainted. Hello. That's not a very respectful way to address an older woman now, is it? Uh, I'm sorry. Now what? <laughs> Here's the documents. Uh, George Hamnitz is going to give you these documents. You didn't look inside, I hope. Uh, I'm not interested. I didn't ask if you were interested. Reading sealed papers like these when you don't have top secret clearance can cost you your freedom. Or your life. Do I make myself clear? Uh, perfectly. But I prefer not to stick my nose into other people's business. I don't care where you stick it. Why is this lady so mean? Why, well, what's her freaking problem? Are you mad I didn't check you out like the other honey or what? These are rules, regulations, instructions that must be observed if you want to stay in the ministry for more than a day. If you make a mistake, nothing will save you. Not even your name. What's wrong with my name? You're still here? Don't try my patience. Uh, sorry, already leaving. Good God. This, this lady just shook me down. She just talked me down like no other. Never been so masculine in my life. Let me go to the corner somewhere, just hold my penis and make sure my balls are still there. Um, talk to Hamnitz on the street. Okay, so we gotta leave now. So, our boy Hamnitz did mention that he's got some information about my father's death, but we needed to do that, you know, low down, low key. Mm-mm. <laughs> we needed to do that low key without, um, any prying eyes, I guess. So, oh, we have 250 points now. Not enough for Nicholas, unfortunately, but let's see if there's anything over here we can interact with any other peeps. Oh, hey, we could... Oh, hey. You need a first aid kit or what? Oh, it's Peter Dong again, right. <laughs> Peter Dong would require a first aid, huh? Who's this? This is Serena Marwitz. Who are you? I haven't seen you before. Uh, good afternoon, my name's Evan. I'm new. Really? I'm Serena Marwitz. Well, here's my advice, newbie. If you don't want to lose your mind and your life, keep away from the vending machine. I'm really curious about how the overall game works. I mean, we do the ministry part over there, just processing forms, but... We still have, like, a ton of day leftovers, so I'm not really sure what else you'll probably be doing. But, thus far, at least, the atmosphere is amazing. So here's George. What a good day. Uh, what do you want to talk about? Evan, it's about your father. The things that happened to him were just terrible. I have to tell you something. Go on. At most, 20 people in our whole country knows this information. I'm taking a huge risk divulging these details to you. So, I do have to ask you. Not a word to anyone, okay? What's happening? As you know, I was, I was appointed to the position floor inspector several years ago. But at the same time, I was enlisted to work in Department 6. Department 6? That's a myth. No thinking person really believes in it. The greatest trick of the devil ever pulled was convincing the world he didn't exist. Department 6 is considered to be a myth because that's the way their leader wanted it. More precisely, that's how your father wanted it. My father was the head of Department 6? And what were you doing there? Heimdall, a secret project held by your father, was launched at the time. That's how we met. I was always good with numbers, so I was invited on board to assess statistical errors and their potential consequence. He didn't talk much about himself, but mentioned his son several times. And his eyes lit up when he did. He was proud of you, trust me. Alright. Um... Let's ask about the project here. What kind of project was Heim, though? Not here, not now. It's too dangerous. We have to find a quiet place and the right time. How about tomorrow? I'll tell you everything, and you can decide what to do with the information. Alright. We didn't communicate for the last 10 years. He mentioned that he was no longer t in touch with you, but always hoped that someday you'd come join him. Why do you think so? He wrote you letters a few days before his death. He must have known what was going to happen to him. A letter? Do you have it with you? No, I keep it at home. I didn't expect you to appear so soon. I'll give it to you tomorrow and tell you everything I know. Somewhere quiet. Thank you, George. I don't know how to thank you. Don't mention it, Evan. Your father was kind to me. This is the least I can do for you. Thanks for telling me about my father, George. Well, have, we'll, have to talk, we'll have time to talk more. See you tomorrow. Something tells me that meeting is not going to happen. 
This is Beholder to the Beta. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see some more, definitely let me know. Right now, I'm thinking of doing the other one because I'm fairly intrigued by this. I love Beholder 1, and so far, this is a lot different than number 1, but I'm digging it this far. I just realized, too, that we have 500 points, too. That should be useful. I will catch you guys next time.